Good morning, I'm Doreen Peterson, President of the American College of Healthcare Sciences. And we're here today in the college's teaching garden. It's a beautiful but crisp February day. And today we're going to be harvesting uh, Vitex seeds. Vitex is a particularly uh, interesting plant. Um, Vitex agnus castus is the Latin name. Uh, it's actually from the family Verbeniaceae. And it's a perennial uh, shrub and deciduous and the seed is what uh, we harvest to steam distill the essential oil. Uh, it has a number of interesting common names which uh, really tell you a lot about what this plant um, was historically and traditionally used for. Some of those names are uh, chaste tree, uh, monk's pepper, um, or chased uh, tree berry and uh, basically it was used by monks uh, in times gone by to uh, to do just that keep them chased so that gives you a little bit of a hint as to uh, what uh, this plant is for it's actually really considered to be a woman's plant it is a hormone balancer so it really helps to balance progesterone and, est and estrogen. Uh, in ancient times uh, it was used extensively, in fact Homer talks about it in the Iliad and uh, Hippocrates talks about it in the 4th century uh, BC and in Greece still they make baskets from the twigs that has a very pliable, uh, pliable twig and so it makes wonderful baskets and uh, traditionally it was used uh, for um, example to, to keep animals in uh, pastures, it was actually used for fences, um, it was used to um, uh, protect boats from, uh, from the waves so it was built as, as um, you know barricades around, uh, around boats and uh, it also has the reputation of being protective Sometimes women would just carry twigs of vitex uh, with them in their pocket as, as a sign of protection. It can be cultivated from seeds or cuttings. It actually roots really easily. You can also uh, peg down a little bit into the ground of a twig if it's low enough to the ground. I've pruned these. These, these trees here, these bushes here, uh, shrubs I should say, are um, about five years old now and this is the second crop we've had from them. Um, you can actually distill the seeds uh, dried from one or two year old plants. So um, it does, does take quite a while for them to grow. It's best to wait for them to be three, about three years old before you harvest. And um, they're relatively hardy. They're hardy to about a zone six and we here in Portland are zone eight um, and we do get some frost and snow here and uh, they've survived that. So as I said you harvest in the, ideally in the fall um, but I uh, did not harvest this year thinking it might be a severe winter. We had a severe winter last year and uh, I didn't want to uh, prune the tree in the fall so I've waited which may impact the uh, quantity of oil that we get today from from our harvest. Uh, clearly the longer you leave a seed on the plant the more exposure to the um, to the atmosphere to the rains to the wind of course you know we have lost some seed it's dropped but um, I'm still looking forward to distilling it and um, and just seeing what kind of yield we get. It's quite a complex oil, uh, Vitex. It contains a number of different um, and interesting constituents. Uh, they think that the, the diterpenes in uh, Vitex is what uh, gives a lot of its medicinal activity. But it also contains um, limonene, which of course you find in your uh, uh, citrus. It contains 1,8-cineol, uh, which uh, is also called eucalyptol and 
Jupitol, depending on uh, which plant it's from. And that, of course, as we know, is um, a great uh, uh, expectorant and uh, antiseptic and antibacterial component. So um, it also is really high in sabinine and a lot and uh, alpha pinene and beta pinene. So uh, it's a particularly interesting plant, and there are um, a number of different act active constituents in the tincture. So the, the tinctured vitex is also used uh, medicinally as well. Uh, it actually contains a, um, uh, an interesting substance called agnoside, which a lot of tinctures are actually standardized to. Um, but as I said, they're now uh, thinking that um, the diterpenes are the more important element and maybe the diterp diterpenes are really a more appropriate marker for the effectiveness of this. Of course, uh, here at the American College we are always interested in using the whole plant, so uh, we're not suggesting one would isolate any of these active constituents. But uh, it's extremely interesting to, to look at what it contains and um, uh, look at the research surrounding uh, the effectiveness of it and uh, see how it, it ties in closely with the historical and traditional uses. So in addition, as I said, to the hormonal effects, probably because of the limonene and the 1,8-cineol, it does have antibacterial and antifungal effects and it has, uh, research has uh, shown this. It's thought that uh, the action of Vitex is um, indirect but it definitely affects the neurotransmitters and uh, is uh, very um, involved with dopamine. The recommended uh, daily dose um, for the tincture, it's about 40 drops uh, once a day. Of course for the uh, essential oil there's no uh, recommended daily dose. Uh, I have seen it recommended to use uh, as a uh, massage oil, so uh, put the uh, Vitex oil into a base oil probably at around about a 2% and uh, massage that. Um, it's been known to um, really re radically reduce uh, discomfort from menopause. Uh, it's, um, and it's shown significant improvement where there's uh, menstrual disorders as well. So again, very balancing. Uh, there are a number of cautions and contraindications. Um, and of course, because it is a hormone regulating and balancing plant, um, it's important that uh, it's avoided during pregnancy, breastfeeding, and there has been some suggestion that it can interfere with oral contraceptives uh, and hormone replacement therapy. So again, those are issues that one would want to talk over with a primary health care physician or naturopathic doctor. So I think what we will do now is actually um, begin our harvest and um, I did also just want to introduce you to the oil before we do that. So this is actually oil that was distilled on Crete and um, it's got a very interesting very interesting top note that's quite um, distinct and does uh, definitely give a hint of the eucalyptol or the 1,8 cineol content but it's also quite peppery and spicy. Um, it is just a very uh, pale uh, yellow uh, oil so again a very very distinct aroma. It smells a lot like the berries uh, smell when you crush the berry in your in your finger. So um, let's uh, start harvesting.